What up, people? It's Carl. Hold up. Let me change the exposure. It's a little bit too bright. Okay, perfect. So it's eight thirty-nine in the evening. Yeah, usually I would go to sleep, but I just had a feeling I might not be able to fall asleep easily. So might as well just recording another video. Expressing myself because it is such a special day for me. It's my birthday. It's my twenty seventh birthday. So I want to say overall, I had a really amazing day. I gotta say I'm just really grateful for this day, and I have recorded a lot of videos, a lot, about more than two hundred gigabytes. And I didn't even count the videos on my phone. Not a lot, but still quite a bit. Hold up. So yeah, I was like just exporting, importing all the footages I shot to my laptop. I mean through my through my laptop to my hard drives. And、um, yeah, I haven't got a chance looking at them yet. But yeah, I'll leave it to the days later. And. Um, I just want to share some,、um, just what do you call it? Like just right at this moment, feelings. I got a lot of feelings. I felt more mature than ever. <laughs> Maybe I have been feeling like this, and today just a special day. I'm just like being dramatic. So, I honestly I had a pretty strong temptation to smoke a cigarette to just calm myself down after this long day, but I didn't. I just went to brush my teeth after I got home, and that is a really good, useful tactic for people who want to quit smoking. You gotta just brush your teeth. I mean. For me, after I brush my teeth, my temptation for cigarettes will decrease a lot, and I don't want to brush my teeth again. So I'm not gonna smoke, right? And anyway, I didn't smoke. I haven't smoked for a long time. I didn't even count the days. I mean, it's not that hard for me anymore. But still, whenever I just feel Either stressed or just excited, I would want to smoke. That just temptation arises so naturally, and it's almost irresistible. But I will always remind myself: I am being unconscious. I have to become conscious to let go of this. Temptation, or desire, or longing, whatever you call it, and it does not represent something that I have to address at this moment. Which means I don't have to smoke. I'm just being tricked by my subconsciousness, and I have my full consciousness, which can help me to make a better decision. All right, I've been. Talking too much about this, but this is really just in my mind, and I would love to share this. Long time ago, so earlier when we were having lunch, my grandpa, he loves talking. He loves giving a speech, especially in a family occasion. He would always talk a few words, and so this lunch. My grandpa said a lot. I don't think I have recorded everything, but the most part I have recorded. And the main thing that he talked about was, um, he congratulates me, and he thanks my parents on his behalf, and also he just wish me. To 
think about starting a family anytime soon. You know what I mean? Like he mentioned that he doesn't think he could make it. Um, to, I mean, he just kind of predicts that he can live for just a few more years. He's eighty four this year, and he doesn't think he can make it to eighty six. I mean, yeah, specifically, he said that, and um. I don't believe it. I believe that as long as you got the will and you got a really high aim, you can make anything possible. So let's say if you think you can make it to ninety-five years old, then you have a—I mean—more likelihood that you're gonna make it. But if you Really believe that you can't make it to eighty, then it's less likely that you're gonna live longer than eighty years old. But it's just my personal opinion, and I don't really know how to explain it really well. If you disagree, that's fine. And so, what I want to try to say is, um. He just thinks that I should think about his old age for him because he's getting old, and he wish strongly that he can witness me getting married and other two grandsons, grandchildren. So my grandpa has two, three in total, actually four, but one cousin. She didn't live with us. She didn't grow up with us. So he really wants to attempt. I mean, attend. He really wants to attend all of our weddings before he pass away. So it's a lot of pressure hearing that. Naturally. I would think, man, I really should think about that and get married, just to make my grandpa happy. But wait a minute, what's the point? Why do I do that? For this reason, for this purpose, just for this purpose, to get married. I mean, no. Getting married is no joke. It's not like something that you can plan to do. Like to me, in my belief, it really takes so much. Just I don't know. Actually, I don't want to go deeper than that. I just want to say I'm in this struggle. That a lot of people share in this Southeast Asia culture, we are told that we have to obey our elders, our family. We have to follow the rules set by the culture and the family, which includes. You have to get married by a certain age. You have to work certain jobs, or whatever. But I really don't think so. I really won't. Don't want to do it. I really don't want to follow any rules like that. Any rules that I can't agree with. God damn! I'm just really bad at. Explaining it and making it making it understandable, I'm just like not confident enough for my audience, for you who is listening. I don't know if everything I said make sense at all. 
I just feel like we all should live for ourselves, but no one else. Not for our mom, not for our parents, not for our grandparents, not for our uncle, not for our teacher, not for anybody, and but just ourselves. Whatever we are told, we have to put ourselves first. People might think, say, "Oh, you're being too selfish. You are like just only thinking of yourself." But this is such a problematic statement. You are sounding like it's wrong to think only for yourself. I mean, not only for yourself, but more like you're only thinking for yourself. Like in a very negative, unacceptable way, people hear that and immediately feel challenged and criticized. But seriously, do we really should not? I mean, should we really not live for ourselves? But someone else, like our parents, we should get married to just make them happy. I just believe marriage is not for our parents. It has nothing to do with our family. I mean, our parents. What's 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 the what's the deal, like? Who's gonna live with the person we're gonna marry for the most of the time? Just ourselves. I mean, I shouldn't even use our or we. I'm talking about me, okay? If you asking me, what's the consideration goes into the marriage? I would not consider anything but just my own interest, and of course, my partner. Who I'm getting married to? I would not think about how my mom, how my grandpa thinks about my partner, or whatever, because it's not them. It's not them getting married. It's me. Okay. So if I feel happy, if I love that one thing about my future partner. And my grandpa doesn't like her, or my mom doesn't like that part. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter because they're not getting married with her. I am getting married with her. <laughs> Damn it! Like I'm just really allowing myself to say whatever. I really don't know what my future partner would feel about this when I talk about it. I mean. Let's forget about it. I mean, I I don't want to think too much. I mean, I just want to say whatever. I just feel a lot. I just feel like I am、uh, in a desert, you know. And I have no company. I have no friends. I have no people who actually gets me. Like I only got myself. Which is enough, but sometimes I just feel like quite lonely. I feel not desperate, but I do feel scared. I feel I might not be able to make it. Just like keep being myself and not giving to any. Pressure from family, cultural, and just people around me—it's a lot. It's really a lot, especially from my family. I grew up in this culture that I got respect my family because they raised me, they give me life, they give me everything. Even till this day, it's my twenty-seventh birthday. I'm twenty-seven years old, still living with my parents. And a lot of people in my society will consider me a failure, seriously. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, I lost my, I lost my thought. Where am I going to? I just want to say this. 
I'm okay to challenge what's right and what's not. I'm okay to left out. I'm okay to stand out. I'm okay to be seen as the crazy, the rebellious, the problematic, the abnormal, the failure, whatever this society or other people. Try to label me. I'm okay with that, and I have to share my stories. I have to speak out for myself because I understand a lot of people just like me who are or has going through, been through this kind of situations, pressure, stress, anxiety, depression. All these mental health problems has a reason, and most sadly, our family made us like that. I'm not saying me. I don't have any mental health problem. I guess I don't think so. I'm happy. Generally, I am very happy every day. I'm very free. I don't feel like burned out. I don't feel. Like just negative in general. I don't feel anything negative. I feel positive. I feel motivated every day. I feel loved. I feel. I want to do good. You know, so I need to share my stories to support another. I have to support you, my audience, my listener, my. Viewer, I just need to know. I just need to let more people know that it is okay to be wrong. It is okay to be seen as a bad kid, a rebellious kid, a kid or a person. Who doesn't obey the rules? The rules are set by humans, and we are all humans. Nobody got the right to set whatever rules for one another. It is our freedom to live our life, one and only life, in a way that we want. I gotta admit that a lot of us. Including myself, even till this point, I can't tell you that I understand everything about life. No, I don't have that. But I can share that I didn't understand a lot of things that I do understand now. So I need some guidance. It is okay to listen to some other people's opinion and their advice. Because I didn't understand it myself, so I got no choice. But after I have read books, listened to many podcasts, watched a lot of videos, I think I got some of the answers to some of the big questions I got. So now I can safely say that. I'm okay making my choices. I got my reasons to make certain choices, such as staying at home at this age of 27, being a YouTuber, podcaster, whatever you call it. Other people see me as the failure, or just whatever. I don't even want to label myself. Like I don't even want to mention the labels because I don't believe that label. I don't really care what people think about me. Although, to be honest, <laughs> I really don't get judged a lot. Honestly, I just imagine people would judge me. That's just probably my insecurity. But I understand if I put myself out there, if more people got to know me. And heard about my stories and got the opportunity to judge me and criticize me. They would, they would seek 
see me as the failure. They would criticize me. They would try everything to bring me down. I know it because I have seen other people doing it to other people, to other opinion leader. You know. So, I got reasons to be thinking like that. But I'm just saying, if really people are all attacking me. Telling me that I shouldn't live life, live my life like this way, then I'm not gonna argue with anybody. I'm not gonna fight back. I'm gonna just be more driven than ever. I'm gonna just stay in my own lane and keep going. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna change the direction unless I. Really believe that I need to. Nobody can tell me that I'm not living right. That's my. I would say, you know, I've been very, very. Like stern, stern about that. Nobody can change my opinion about that. So. I feel much better. I don't know how you feel about whatever I just said here. You can keep your opinion to yourself if you do have some. I just want to share this story to potentially support you. Okay, we all are going to encounter some objections, doubt. Hate, misunderstanding, fight, whatever. But just believe, everything happened serve for a good purpose. You have to keep the good faith with you and keep moving. Keep being yourself. Keep exploring. Keep going, and never settle. Never giving. It sounds easy, but it's very hard to do. And you have to think about me when you're about to give up, because I am here. I am not going to give up. On my dreams. On my purpose. On my mission, I'm gonna walk my talk. I'm gonna show you guys. You guys who all see. This is 2022. I don't know when will you ever discover discover this content, but if you do, I'm grateful. I'm happy. I hope you got something. All right. So this is Carl Shaw. Thank you for listening. Thank you for staying. Thank you for spending the time trying to understand me. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time again. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>